G'day folks and welcome to the final report for this Torah 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 scenario. This is Learning Scenario A3. This, uh, this video will run through the two spring terms, March, April 1942 and April, May 1942, through to the end of the scenario. Now at this point, I'm just at the end of the March, April turn and despite these initial Japanese advances, these rapid advances across the Pacific, things are pretty close. The Japanese began their seasonal term with the, the seasonal victory phase. They basically count how many of these uh, Western strategic hexes they've captured. They deduct uh, Axis strategic hexes to get their strategic value score. So basically add up all the green hexes controlled by the Japanese, which was seven, I believe. I deduct the one Axis strategic hex controlled by the uh, the Western powers, Manila over here, I think that's the only one, to get a score of six, which uh, brings the victory point marker up to 2VP, which is what the Japanese need. So they very narrowly, if, it was, if this was five, the VP marker would go in the 1VP box. The Japanese need two to win, so they've narrowly secured that requirement. Um, very, very, very narrowly. Uh, Rabaul, Hong Kong, um, they held on to Saigon. What else? Oh, this landing down here in Davao, which I didn't think was important, turned out to be critical. Uh, so every little hex really ended up counting. Midway as well. I mean, I, uh, I thought this was being a bit flippant, but it, that all these little landings proved to be crucial for, uh, Japanese success in securing that extra victory point. Had they invaded Manila, it would have um, been helpful as well. It would have given them a little bit of a buffer, but they would have needed yeah, a net plus six in their uh, strategic objectives captured. They, at this point, still hold on to Port Moresby and Midway, and during their turn, they launched uh, a powerful attack on Singapore and have captured the city. You can see here they sent in the Air Force. There was a blitz marker and they sent in six strength points against the defenders too, uh, to fairly handily uh, destroy the garrison there. What else has been happening? Well, the Australians have advanced up from Bougainville. Um, they're just outside and they, they can attack Rabaul, but it's they're at one-to-one -one odds if they attack. There's a city here, and they're attacking across a non-connected Hex side, so it'd be on the worst column, one to three, and there is nothing they can roll on that column to destroy the Japanese without losing themselves. Most of these are AD results or an EX result, uh, and if they roll that EX result, they lose their step, they can't advance, the Japanese would hold rapport. If they wait until next turn, however, they get some... an Air Force, which... Doesn't really help them all that much either. Um, I don't know how the Allies can capture a ball, to be honest, and I don't think it really matters at this stage because it's already been counted for Japanese um, victory. What they really need is to recapture Port Moresby or Wake Island or Singapore. And this is where I'm realising the, the real limitation of the Western powers at this stage, in early 1942, is a lack of blitz markets they can't establish any bridgeheads anywhere um, because they can't place any bridgeheads they can't reinvade wake island um i can't i can't see i mean i've been trying to read the rules and look for gaps that i've missed maybe i've read over something but without bridgeheads you can't invade enemy forces even these detachments basically all you need all the allies need is to place a bridgehead, send their troops to the bridgehead, and then they can advance onto that island. But without these beachhead markers, they, they, uh, they can't invade. And literally, as I'm talking, I realise that the, the US have just received back their surface fleet. So they can do this. They can place this, uh, this surface fleet in the on-station box, it ah okay so here's the thing so that they do have this one surface fleet 
they can say, hey, yes, we're going to reinvade Wake Island. Of course, the Japanese have a thousand surface fleets. Well, they have two, to be honest. And they can challenge that. So that's contested. Both of these counters go to the naval warfare delay box. Yeah, I uh, had a little bit of hope for the Allies there. But um, yeah, the Japanese have been saving their surface fleets for this reason. Um, they have another surface fleet, a CV fleet. Now, what happened? So, th so the Japanese ran through their victory disease. They added an air force to their force pool, which they then used down in Singapore. Uh, replacement steps, which you can see up in Japan. They rolled bonsai, which forced them to either make an attack or to remove a, I think it was a naval counter and remove a, a corresponding allied naval counter. So they chose to remove their CV fleet, which removes the allied CV fleet as well. And they both go into the naval warfare delay box. They could have flipped this over to the CV strike, which then removes an allied CV strike, but they want the most, well, they're trying to get a delay on this uh, this allied CV fleet as well. So that was the, uh, the Japanese uh, option card segment. No, oh, they, they also tried to attack again in Kyungsu, and again they failed. Uh, this is, a, I think, an AD result, so they've suffered another step. I'm learning not to attack in China. Um, then we go through this marker segment, and we get to the Allied turn, where they have their Do Little Raid option card. They rolled Failure, Supply, Axis. And this lets... In short, let's the allied player remove an Axis su uh, support marker. And they've removed the Axis supply convoy from down in the Coral Sea, which, as I talked about in the last video, now places the Japanese defenders in Port Moresby out of supply. I don't know the full implications of this yet. Um, they're out of supply, they're unsupplied, but, I mean, they've already captured Port Moresby. There are no allied forces in this area. These guys are supplied through the Bismarck Sea, so they're okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know if there are going to be any consequences of that. Um, certainly historical, uh, that's what happened. Um, Japanese supplies couldn't get through very effectively in this whole area, really. But anyway, that was the, uh, the Allied seasonal phase. They then went through their administrative phase. And to be honest, not a lot happening as i mentioned the australians moved up but they didn't attack um they can't do anything they uh just don't have the support markers uh to engage in any sort of offensive warfare at this stage um singapore has fallen wake island has fallen port moresby has fallen the japanese are in the lead with one turn to go the april may turn Okay, so following on from that, the, the final turn, April-May, was a, a fairly quiet one. Uh, the Japanese once again rolled on the political events segment. They rolled Chinese incident, uh, and as a result of that, they had the option to roll on the area table for China, where they rolled setback, no results. That was disappointing for them. Beyond that, there's, in the final turn, nothing much they can do. They're pretty happy to hold on to their gains. Um, I reread the supply rules for here. These guys can just hang out here without supply. Uh, Singapore is held, Port Moresby is held, Wake Island is held. No more attacks in Kyungsu. Uh, it's just too bad. <laughs> um, and so the Japanese turn moved quite quickly. They do have some surface fleets. Oh, they did have, uh, so the Quit India marker comes out. And this is interesting because um, when this marker comes out, it's placed in the strategic warfare box up here. And it prevents Indian units from leaving India. My problem is, well, I've already got um, these two units down here. I don't know what happens to them. Uh... It's the last turn anyway, so I don't need to worry about it right now. But if this were part of a larger campaign, I might um, I might follow up to see what happens to those units. They can't do anything. Even if they capture Bangkok and this hex here, um, these units are easily in supply across the uh, South China Sea. So no problem with them holding on to Singapore and these guys hanging hang on to Saigon. 
There is also the IGHQ logistics marker, and you can place this in a hex. And I did read about it. Basically, um, if you can trace a supply line to a supply source in Japan, it, it's treated as a uh, a replacement location for Japanese units. So that could be really handy moving forward in a campaign. Uh, for example, I could place it in China, and uh, yeah, serves as a, a replacement area. The, uh, the Allies, you can probably see their support units up here. They've got a lot of uh, troop convoys and air forces coming out this turn from the turn track. Unfortunately, they don't have the, the surface fleets that they need. So, yes, they could do stuff. The, the Commonwealth and the Americans could do could move troops around with their, their troop convoys. The Americans could finally move those two reinforcements from their western US box and perhaps bring them onto the Hawaiian Islands. But without those uh, service fleets, without those beachhead markers, they can't take back either the strategic hexes of Midway nor the, uh, the victory hex of Wake Island. Um, so yeah, they can move these troops around to friendly areas. The airstrikes yeah, can help escort troop convoys, but yeah, no beachheads. So that's about it. So at the end of the scenario, it is a... Um, an Axis victory. The Japanese have secured the two VPs they need, and they've secured three of the four victory locations, Wake Island, Port Moresby, and Singapore, and they've utterly failed to get anywhere near Kuai Lin in, uh, in China. So that is the end of that uh, Tora 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 learning scenario. Uh, certainly learnt a lot and um, feeling increasingly confident to move on to a, a larger campaign. Uh, great, great learning scenario, fascinating, it throws a lot at you. Um, yeah, highly recommended.